Hey YouTube, so I thought I would share with you something rather interesting I picked up today. Now, this is a type of battery which I thought I would never own or have any interest in in my life, but here we go. I've got 10 of these massive uh, nickel cadmium cells, and these are the flooded kind, which supposedly do not suffer from the same memory effects as the sealed, like sort of double A kind do. So I got these from a Polish guy who got them off an oil rig. Uh, he had hundreds of them. And his YouTube channel is called After Work Creation. Now a lot of his videos are in Polish, but there is one in English where he shows off um, his battery bank, which uses the cells that are twice this size. Um, they're about 400 amp hours. So uh, that's a really interesting video. He's got a 48 volt setup. So that's what I plan to go for eventually, but I just got 10 cells at the moment just to make a 12 volt bank uh, for testing purposes because I don't want to, you know, go all in until I'm sure that these are going to perform well uh, for my application. But the good thing about them is they're very abuse tolerant, so if your charger fails and starts dumping loads of power into them, they're not going to turn in a fireball like lithium ion. Um, it just cannot happen. The only way that these could go on fire were if you were to be charging them heavily on their equalizing charge when they're off gassing and you had like an ignition source nearby and you didn't have them in a proper vented enclosure. So bear that in mind. So yeah, for what it is, it's fairly light. Um, so it's 190 amp hours a cell and I'm able to lift it quite easily. Um, I don't, even th I don't even think it even weighs 10 kilograms. So if this was a lead acid, um, I'd probably be struggling to lift this right now. So I don't think they're as de energy dense as lead acid. Um, I think they're somewhere in between lead acid and nickel iron. And they do look like nickel iron. But yeah, apparently these cells can last many, many years. So Alcad makes them and they had a cell which was 99 years old and they dumped the electrolyte out and recharged it and it had 50% of its original capacity after 99 years. So that's very, very impressive. Um, anyway, I'm going to give these a try. I'm going to connect 10 of them in series. I'm going to charge them up and do a full discharge test with the PowerLab charger, which is an absolute piece of crap, but um, I've got to use what I've got and it will go from there. Before I go, I also got 10 of the 50 amp hour cells. Nice small compact cell. Um, one of my friends would probably really like these. He's got a very small solar power setup, which he uses just for like um, charging vapes and phones and stuff. And he just goes through like a lead acid battery every year for some reason. So I think he needs something that's a bit more abuse tolerant. Um, and that should do it. They're a very interesting type of battery. Um, I've never seen anything like it. And um, there's a lot of misconceptions. Everyone thinks that nickel cadmium is crap or ancient or whatever. But we'll soon see when I do a test in the next video.